Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever camera review. Today I will be taking a look at the Zenitar 50mm f1.7 which is a vintage Soviet lens which my dad bought back in the day. So as we can see it has quite a big glass element at the front. And of course it has the M42 screw mount which is used by most vintage Russian lenses which means you will need a M42 adapter if you want to use it on your camera. What's interesting about this lens is that it actually has square aperture blades which you will be able to see. Now this provides square bokeh which can be a very interesting effect. Very nice smooth focus ring, which goes from 45 centimeters to infinity. And unfortunately the aperture ring is not clickless, which might be a problem for videographers. Now to use this lens on a Sony camera, which I and my dad both own, we bought this M42 to NEX adapter. I will show how it looks with the lens on. Now as you can see even with the lens on the adapter it's still not too big. Here it is mounted on an A7 II. And although it's not too big it's actually fairly heavy. Especially compared to this 35mm f2.8 by Carl Zeiss. Which is much lighter. To properly use this kind of manual lens which is no electronic transmission. You should set focus peaking to help you with focusing. As you can see here, it's set to yellow focus peaking. And what's also very helpful is focus magnifying, which can help you make sure you nail the focus. The lens is now mounted on my Sony A6500 which makes it about a 75mm equivalent. Stopped down, the lens is decently sharp, but unfortunately it can never be compared to the modern lenses we have now. It's still a very fun toy to play around with. One of my only issues with this lens is that it has a very bad case of flaring. So if you point the lens anywhere near a lamp or direct sunlight, you'll get some very annoying kind of haze over your image. Even a lens hood cannot counter this problem for the most part. So this should definitely be kept in mind when you plan to take this lens outside. I will now show you some sample images that I took with this lens. So all in all, I don't think I could recommend buying this lens from eBay or somewhere else unless you're a serious collector. But if you happen to have it inside your home, it's definitely fun to play around with. And they're actually quite rare because of the square bokeh. Thank you for watching my first video and definitely make sure to leave feedback behind what I should do differently or what I could improve on. I will soon try to upload more reviews for vintage lenses which I have lying around the house and even some modern lenses.